Joining us right now, Pennsylvania Congressman Guy Reschenthaler, a Republican. Thank you for being with us. First off, not surprisingly, you are a Dr. Oz supporter. Uh, within three minutes of the debate, uh, yeah, clearly, uh, within three minutes of the debate, it was pretty jarring uh, to see uh, Mr. Fetterman work through speaking and, and in complete sentences. What was your big takeaway? Well, Adrian, thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. Please just call me Guy. My big takeaway from last night was this. It wasn't Fetterman's health. It was that Dr. Oz leaned into the very difficult issues from gun control, abortion, Social Security, for example. Fetterman, on the other hand, evaded a lot of questions. Uh, now, he may be trying to downplay that today, saying that it, there were issues with, with, a, with, with a, I want to say, teleprompter, but basically what was feeding him the questions. Uh, He's really trying to do damage control now, but it's very clear that Fetterman was a base of um, big issues, big issues like fracking in the state of, state of Pennsylvania, issues like abortion. And again, contract that, contrast that with how Dr. Oz lean, leaned in. I think that in debates, there's no such thing as winning a debate. You just don't lose a debate. Oz, Oz's performance may have been the exception to that rule. I think Oz won the debate yesterday. I think Fetterman looked at a Let's talk about fracking. You mentioned it. It's one of the hot issues uh, that they discussed on Tuesday night. Uh, Fetterman was actually confronted with a 2018 statement saying he did not support it. But then he backtracked on that during this campaign and said this on Tuesday night. Listen. Oh, uh, I, I, I do support fracking and I don't I don't I support fracking and I stand and I do support fracking. OK, thank you. So, I, I mean, really, a lot of Republicans are in agreement with this. But I, I think that even just the way that he made that comment, um, clearly there has been discussion about, even with Dr. Oz, what he said about abortion not being clarified enough. Right. Well, I think Dr. Oz clarified his point on abortion very clearly last night. He said explicitly that he would not vote for Lindsey Graham's bill. He said it's a state issue. He was also very clear on where he stood for, on fracking. So when Dr. Oz made contradictory statements, I feel like he did a good job remediating the contradictory statements. Fetterman, on the other hand, stood there and said that he supports fracking. What he didn't explain, though, is he didn't explain his comments from just a few years ago where he said uh, that, that he's against fracking. He didn't explain the fact that he sat down publicly and signed a pledge to ban fracking. Uh, so he actually took an affirmative step to sign a pledge to ban fracking. He didn't talk about the fact that he said that fracking was a stain, his words, not mine, a stain on Pennsylvania. Now, whether or not the moderator felt like he or she couldn't lean, that they couldn't lean in because of his health, I, I don't know. I don't want to speculate, but it's very clear that Fetterman evaded that tough issue. I have one more question for you. These candidates have been neck and neck. Uh, obviously, we're just going to see what happens in the next short while, next few days, as to whether Dr. Oz pulls away with a larger lead. Uh, but what do you think could happen in the next couple of weeks that would have Dr. Oz pulling ahead? Well, I think that when you look at these races, trajectory is everything, Adrian. If you look at it in the summer, Dr. Oz was down by 16 percent, 16 points down. And now some polls have him up by one or two percent. The trajectory says a lot when you look at where these races are headed. I think that the more that crime continues to be an issue, the, the uh, more that Fetterman will drop behind because of his, his soft on crime and his belief that we should legalize all drugs. So I think that at the end of the day, Dr. Oz will win this race by probably two or three percent. But I see Fetterman heading in the wrong direction and not a lot of time on the clock to make up for, uh, for, for dropping full numbers. Pennsylvania Congressman Guy Reschenthaler, you said I could call you Guy. Thank you very Absolutely. much. <laughs> Appreciate your time. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.